Hey guys, Jobo here, introducing a brand new LP. Today we'll be playing through, well, for the rest of this damn week, and possibly the next few weeks, we'll be playing through Sonic CD. What you just heard there was the glorious Toot Toot Sonic Warrior intro. The, uh, the most absurd sounding song in any of the Sonic franchise, if you ask me. It's catchy, I'll give it that, but it's, um... It's a little fucking weird. <laughs> if you listen to the lyrics, at least. Anyway, uh, you'll notice the soundtrack. Uh, for the first level, we'll be playing on the US soundtrack. I'll get more into that soon. But, cutscene time already! So that was the intro to Sonic CD called Sonic Boom. Um, it is amazing. It is my favorite intro to any video game whatsoever. It's so awesome. And it just capitalizes on the, the, the idea of Sonic and it's, it's, it's marvelous. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's top tier. Anyway, what you're hearing now is the, uh, the speed shoes. I turned this up a little so you could hear it. This game's fit with a lot of jingles and in a, a lot of different jingles depending on the soundtrack and uh, they vary from really catchy and upbeat and like uh, you know wacky to really edgy sounding shit. <laughs> uh, you'll notice we're on the uh, the U.S. soundtrack, which is the native localized soundtrack of a uh, Sonic CD. So uh, yeah, well at least if you're in the U.S., I mean. If you're, where I'm, if you're where I'm from, you would have gotten the Japanese soundtrack, but, um, yeah. You'll notice these weird-looking half-pipe things, and this is because the Sega CD, or it did, utilized some sort of, uh, different technology within itself to, like, I don't know, give that illusion of slight 3D. Kind of like how Sonic 3 and Knuckles did, except this one in more depth, and, uh, what I haven't talked about yet is, uh, the time travel gimmick. Um, oh yeah, here's the soundtrack. That was the past version of Palm Tree Panic. Basically, what you're going to be wanting, want to be doing throughout all these stages is finding the past signs, going back in time, and breaking the monitors. So then, you can get a good future in a stage. There are three acts. If you do not break the monitors in Act 1 and 2, then Act 3 will be a bad future. Anyway, we're going into our first special stage, which is... A very nice looking one at that. I, uh, I always thought um, the special stages in Sonic CD were really cool, but uh, 
God, they get frustrating. <laughs> They're such a pain in the ass sometimes. Like, look, I make this one look pretty easy. And, you know, for the most part, they are pretty easy. I fail getting the one, two of the time stones. Two of them. Because they're so damn hard to get. Ugh. But it's okay, because this one's relatively easy. So, uh, don't gotta worry about that. Booyah! First time stone. Oh, yeah. About that. Um, <laughs> there's no more Chaos Emeralds. Um, they're now called time stones. Well, they're a separate entity to the Chaos Emeralds, so... I guess that makes sense, but uh, yeah, these are the time stones, and uh, basically, uh, once you collect all seven, you'll get a good future in every stage, so you don't have to uh, break the monitors. But for the time being, you have to go back into the past and break every monitor until you, unless you want a bad future, then you don't 100% the game. There are different variants of the third act. There is the good. It'll, it'll always be a good future or a bad future. Bad future is no real difference to the good future, just different palette, I guess. And um, there's no real like difference in level design either. So uh, yeah. You'll notice how bright and vibrant this game is. Um, they really did it well with the color scheme for our Sonic CD. It really feels nice. And you'll see that we're actually using the, uh, the original Sonic 1 sprite. We're not actually using the Sonic 2 sprite. And the uh, thing about this game is that it came out after Sonic 2. So how do you explain that, Sega? <laughs> but uh, yeah. You remember two? Oh, in the ground there. <laughs> uh, you remember the first jingle tune? The jingle tune, yeah. Uh, the first tune I showed you at the start of the game, uh, Two Two Sonic Warrior. Well, uh, it can either be Sonic Boom or Two Two Sonic Warrior, depending on your uh, your region. But uh, there was a scrapped theme for Sonic CD called uh, simply the I think Five One O prototype theme. And, uh, it was used in the, the beta builds of Sonic CD, and it sounds really cool. Uh, I'll put it at the end of the video for those who are curious. It's actually uh, a really cool tune that they were going to use for the title screen of Sonic CD. And, uh, it's kind of a shame they got rid of it, because it, it actually sounds kick-ass. Like, it sounds awesome. Like, I'd, I'd listen, I'd be, I'd be happy with that. Like, they could get rid of 2 Sonic Warrior and put that in, and I'd be happy. But, uh, I'll show 2 Sonic Warrior in its entirety in the extra video. So, uh... Yeah. Life. Booyah. Uh, you'll notice that this game is a lot more slow paced than Sonic 1 or Sonic 2. Uh, that's because, well, um... <laughs> you have to be. <laughs> it gives you all these speed equip, you know, like, moves and options, and, um... You can't actually be really fast. Yeah. <laughs> It's a game that wants you to go fast, but you uh, you can't go fast. That's the, that's the thing. So uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, those are Metal Sonic monitors. Uh, they don't really do anything. <laughs> they do nothing. They don't add to anything. Uh, you can get an achievement at the end of the game for getting them all, but uh, like, <laughs> it's just an achievement. It's like getting all the red rings in uh, Sonic 4 Episode 2. You, you don't get anything from them. Just a shitty achievement. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It's alright, though. Uh, they, they tried. They tried. Yeah, for so what you're gonna want to do in order to get to the past or future, depending on the time time post you have, is you want to get a good build-up of speed. Uh, I have to backtrack here because I don't have 50 rings, and so I can't get to the special stage. And I'm wanting to 100% this game, so I'm gonna try and get every uh, special stage option I can. And they put these weird springs near the end of the goal to bounce you back. And there's one in uh, a, a stage later to come, Stardust Speedway. And it's, a, it's really annoying, <laughs> like, there's no point for it, unless you want to backtrack, but like, still, there's different ways of doing it, rather than just throwing a backwards spring out there. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this game was actually one of my first Sonic games, uh, Gems Collection. Uh, Sonic CD, I never got past Fucky World Punch. <laughs> I, uh, I, I could never beat it because I was... Uh, too unskilled of a gamer. But, uh, yeah. This game has really weird level design, and it's to compensate for the fact of going fast in certain areas and then repeating it. So you can, you know, uh, for the time for the time posts to work, you have to get a, a good boost of speed, and you have to maintain that speed. So, uh, yeah, you have to maintain that exact speed if you're wanting to uh, go to your designated timeline. 
and it has to be for a period of time. See what I'm doing now? I have to maintain that for a while, and then eventually I'll get sent to the future, or past. And here we are, Palm Tree Pezic Panic Present again. Palm Tree Predic. <laughs> but anyway, time for Special Stage 2. Sonic made a good future in Zone 2. That's because I trashed the monitors. Alright, time for special stage 2. Uh, this special stage is relatively easy. You know, they get fine until special stage 4. <laughs> special stage 4 is, um... I lose it. I'm, I'm... <laughs> I, I fuck up. But, you know, what's to be expected? But, uh, yeah, you wanna trash every UFO in the special stage in order to get the time stone. So you gotta hit every single one. Uh... When you're running out of time, a UFO will appear, when you get to 15 seconds, a UFO will appear in the middle of the stage, and if you break it, it'll give you more time. So, uh, unless you're me, there's no excuse for failing. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a new level of a retard, so, uh, yeah. Another time stone! Awesome! All we need is about five more. Oh god. <laughs> Anyway, time for Act 3, which is the Bus Act. This is Palm Tree Panic Good Future, US version, and it is my favorite track. Also, before I continue on this, Bus Fight! Bus Fight's over! <laughs> that was the entire boss fight. It lasts like 10 seconds. No, 2 seconds. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is Palm Tree Panic Good Future. It would be a bad future depending on whether you got the monitors or not. So uh, yeah. Time stones help as well. Once you collect them all, there's no need for uh, getting the monitors. But anyway folks, that was part 1 of Sonic CD. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, here is the fabled beta track for uh, the Sonic CD title screen prototype. Toodles!